hard for them to understand what, what they should be chewing on uh, and if it's your shoes are lying around or there's something that he's supposed to be able to chew on, they, it all looks the same to them. And so it's better to kind of uh, have an area where he can be, where there are plenty of toys for him to chew on and you have your other ones protected. Um, and uh, the other interesting thing about that, when you do want to reprimand your dog, uh, bringing your voice down as deeply as you possibly can uh, it gives you more authority. If you think about a litter of puppies, uh, the, the litter mates have all high-pitched voices and the mother has a really deep growl. And so when you want to be in charge, you want to have a deep, deep growl. Especially hard for women. Sometimes women get excited because they just ate a new pair of your shoes. Your voice might be going up. And the puppy says, oh, she liked that. I'll eat another pair of shoes tomorrow. So whenever you're upset, try and remember to bring your voice down and, and to control your puppy. Um, so the chewing is a very, very difficult thing for some dogs, and, and sometimes it has a lot to do with their socialization. Sometimes it has to do with their teething, uh, and they have lots of different products available that you can help uh, your dog with. There's a really neat one called the Kong. Have you ever heard of a Kong? A Kong is one that uh, has uh, rubber, hard rubber outside, and then it's got an area inside where you can put food or you can even put like peanut butter in there and then freeze it uh, and so your dog if he's left alone and he has a tendency to chew on things he'll be working on the peanut butter all day while it's defrosting uh, and that way it kind of protect the rest of your house um, and uh, again puppies is pretty natural for them to want to chew and it's our job just to try and make a, a, a safe environment for them so they don't chew on our good things and they have things of their own that they can chew on if you come back and you find something and he is chewing on something that you don't want him to chew on again you remember bring your voice down and you should tell him no and try and take it away from him uh, and uh, when you take it away again just tell him no and then give him something else that he can chew on and, and tell him that it's okay. So when you're telling him no again you want to have your voice deep and when you give him something else that's okay to chew on you bring your voice back up again. Okay. All right?